power up yourself. That's activate yourself. And to activate yourself other than the mind. See, we've been serving something else. And we're so loving, so kind, so giving, so naive and trusting uh, that it's really important that we know discernment and what we can observe and witness and recognize that there may be things going on for, for people and, and everything out all this, animals that are very foreign to us that we would never ever do so we could never then even believe it's possible because we think it's being done by human beings. I would say like being a human and remember these are words that we've been given. Uh, a, a human is a hue. It's a probably a uh, you might call it, it could be an electronic, you see, because it's a hue, it's, a, it's um, something you can measure, whatever. That's the physical body. But who you are is not subtle or gross. See, everybody's working in the subtle or the gross, the astral and the material, the, 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 the density. Uh, it's, it's also buoyancy and density, not really gravity, because that's just a theory, but you can actually test and, and see, you know, buoyancy in some water, that which is heavy falls to the bottom, that which is buoyant floats at the top, you see. So it's just kind of how it is. And, and you know this by observing and by witnessing. So how do you power up yourself? You have to know the difference, the distinction between who you are and who you think you are, who you believe you are, what you've been educated and trained to know or to think or believe or accept as real and true, the only and I, and thing, we're not a thing. Those are things, it's and things. We need to have discernment and be a and know, first of all, you watch your own mind and thoughts and reality and what you believe is true and accepted, that's a lie. Because it's a perverted upside down reality. And that and a shadow that, that is like in a sense a copy, but you can be living in the real by you be not and in the real also means movie real so there you go also uh, it means that I just also noticed another word scare and scar are like spelled the same I'm it's a scare or I was scared or I was scarred because that frightening and that fear and that anxiety and that what it sends through the 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 body and that sense of like closing down on our, our, ourselves when we are transcendental to the physical meaning, um, we are all that is or ever will be and beyond. And then right where in your home, right where you are, you don't need anyone or anything. But you've got to know yourself and be yourself. And that means to discern between what your mind tells you, what other people tell you, the job you have, what you've been paid to do is what you're doing and being, harmonizing it with your own inner deep self knowing or has it been shut down? Oh, you don't understand, I have to survive. What do you mean? You're eternal. You want to live, that means to really be you to the full. So you have to know the difference. And then in every moment, you're choosing. It's like you're, we're marginal. We're like walking on a fence. And either you're looking within to your God source, your divine, your, your, what we don't ha have words. I call my beloved who loves and adores me. 
loves everyone same for all and yet we're each different unique an original we're not a hive a hive mentality all going the same da, 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 da. because you see in a mental place anyone who would want to make that reality as they desire would then have to control the mental state it's cool there's some drops of snow just starting to fall Whee-ha. so this this is the pleasure you're seeking is yourself not Terry here, here. And that's a label, and I'm not Terry. That's a sound vibration. You're not that sound vibration. You're not the words printed on a piece of paper. Those letters and spaces on a piece of paper and these words, this isn't you. This isn't real. This isn't all there is. They say so- something or nothing. That's all there is. You got to, you know, something. These are things, toys. Yet we're seeking pleasure where pleasure doesn't exist except for an instant as time passes. When you're in the now, that means you as yourself, fully conscious, not thinking, you have no programs running. You're not in the drama of the family. You're not in the drama of this and that. You're not stopped anymore. You're not playing that I'm not good enough or I'm better, success, failure. You know, you're, you're not in that thinking reality. Mm-mm. The power, the pleasure, the joy. So you have to know, and, and you feel it, and tune in, and, and, and build that relationship within. And then we're all in harmony, and yet each original and unique and a genius and divine and magnificent in every way. So we're always working together and unified, and yet also independently, a chincha, beta beta tattva. We're inconceivably, that means the mind can't conceive of it because it's beyond that. It's not mental. Simultaneously, not in opposites. The opposites are happening at the same time, and so it's above duality. A chincha beta beta tata, inconceivably, simultaneously, the same, da da, and different. You bring the two together and you transcend and observe and you are in the now. That's where it's at. Not it. That's not it. 